Hey space friend, I've been manually tracking the days by drawing lines on the wall, but I've recently realized that makes it look like I'm being held hostage on this ship. I figure it's time to get a proper clock system going, so today we're going to use a real-time clock module and an LCD to track the time, date, and day of the week. Real-time clocks, or RTCs, are integrated circuits that keep track of the time. They use backup batteries to maintain the time if their main power source is removed. The DS3231 is an RTC module that has an I2C interface. It's extremely accurate because it uses an integrated temperature compensated crystal oscillator along with the crystal. I don't know what that is. There's a backup battery mounted at the back of the module. The chip automatically switches between main and backup power sources as needed. The module keeps track of seconds, minutes, hours, days, as well as the date, month, and year data. It can also adjust for months with less than 31 days or leap years. The pins are 32K, which outputs a very accurate 23 kHz oscillator, SQW, which outputs a square wave signal from the chip and can also be used as an interrupt output, SCL, which is a serial clock line for I2C communication, SDA, which is the serial data line for I2C communication, VCC for the power input, and ground. The setup for this is a little different than anything we've done before. Since both the LCD and RTC use I2C communication, we need the A4 and A5 pins on the Arduino for the SDA and SCL lines for both of these items. The way we manage that is to connect all the LCD pins in line with the same RTC pins on the breadboard and then connect jumper wires from the breadboard to the Arduino pins. So SDA, SCL, VCC, and ground should all be lined up between the LCD and the real-time clock module. Then VCC goes to 5 volts, ground to ground, SDA to A4, and SCL to A5. First we have to include three libraries. The wire library that we use for I2C communication, the RTC lib which provides functionality for the real-time clock module, and the liquid crystal I2C library for the LCD. RTC DS3231 initializes an object named RTC of type RTC DS3231 from the RTC lib library. Liquid Crystal I2C LCD initializes an object named LCD with the address 0 by 27 and a display size of 16 columns and 2 rows. In the setup, we first start the serial monitor, turn on the LCD, and turn on the LCD's backlight. Then we make sure that the RTC module is properly connected and initialized. The RTC.begin function attempts to begin communication with the RTC. Since we put an exclamation mark in front of that function, we're saying that if the RTC is not initialized, then the initialization failed and we'll print couldn't find RTC to the serial monitor. While one causes it to enter an infinite loop preventing the program from continuing any further. We're including this section for error handling purposes so that the code doesn't continue running if we don't have a functioning RTC. The RTC.lostPower function checks if the RTC lost power since it was last powered up and it returns true if it did. If that's the case then we'll need to reset the time because it means that the RTC lost its timekeeping capability due to a power failure or a disconnection. If this is true, it'll notify us on the serial monitor that it needs to be reset and then we'll set the time using rtc.adjust. The parameters passed to rtc.adjust create a date time object using the compile time constants date and time. These constants hold the date and time when the code was compiled. This sets the RTC's time to the moment that the code was compiled in the event of a power loss. A compile time constant is a value that is determined and fixed during the compilation phase of a program, and remains constant throughout the execution of the program. In previous videos where we set a variable as a const int, we are creating a compile time constant. Date and time with the underscores around them are also special predefined macros in C++ that hold the compile date and time. In the loop, date time now equals rtc.now retrieves the current date and time from the RTC module and returns it as a date time object. This object holds information about the year, month, day, date, time, and second, and minute, and hour. Did I say that? Year, month, day, hour, minute, second. LCD.clear clears the contents of the LCD at the beginning of each loop iteration so that the screen will be completely clear whenever it resets to the new time. LCD.set cursor sets the cursor position on the LCD to the first column on the first row. LCD.print now.month DEC and the following code for day and year is how we obtain and print the month, day, and year obtained from the now datetime object. DEC indicates that the format is in decimal. Then we use LCD.setCursor01 to set it to the second row and the first column. First column, second row is a better way to say that. On that line, we're doing the same thing as the date, but with the hour, minute, and second separated by colons. Delay 1000 ensures that the time is updated every one second. Well, we're getting fancier by the day. No more scratches on the wall for me.